which we can see those people in today, you know, going from their leadership on down. Okay, all these people look at Native American leadership, look at so-called Latino leadership, look at so-called black leadership, they're misled. Okay, we know America is the reincarnation of the Roman Empire. We know the Jews were persecuted in the Roman Empire. You know, which Jews, we, we just were a representation. But just like us, our brethren uh, in the, the northern kingdom, Israel, they're persecuted too. We know this is a reincarnation of that place, and we can see that play out. That's why you had the Roman Jewish wars. That's why you had the story of the Maccabees, where the Greeks and the Romans persecuted the Israelites. And they're doing the very same thing today, which is how we know who, who, who they are according to the spirit. And um, just seeing the different things that are playing out, how these, uh, these jakes are getting judged, these jakes are getting killed, judgment is going out, the jake is getting emotional, but we know what comes next after that emotion, more emotional decisions, more emotional logic, and, and more, more uh, wicked niggas going off. You know, the, the scriptures were set up for correction, for correction, the things written in the scriptures are written for our learning. And they don't want to hear it. So we gotta we gotta come hard, we're gonna have to come rough because we know that persecution is gonna come for us teaching the word, no matter how we preach, no matter how nice we are, no matter how uh, uh, gentle we are with our words, that persecution from Israel is gonna come, that persecution from this whole world is gonna come from the Israelites. And it's already started at, at the beginning of this year, when Lord willing, this this be the year that they bring out that chip heavily. You know, this is the year of the Quran. But uh, I just wanted to jump in. I'm going to just get to a couple of scriptures. And I'm not even going to be long. It's just saying from uh, the, the different deaths, the different things that are going on in the so-called black community, a.k.a. Judah. Well, there's a reason for it. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why we're in the position that we're in. This isn't just a, a fucking uh, conti a continual mind fuck and then us uh, you know, have zero idea of what to do. So the Lord always sent understanding. He always sent the one. He sent his prophets who have an understanding of, of the wisdom uh, that has been passed down through centuries and through centuries. But uh, to make, make uh, my, my words short in the scriptures, it said what? First Peter 4, 13. But rejoice in as much as we are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yeah, because brothers are going through shit. You know, it's not, we don't just wake up and, you know, we just want to go out, we just want to talk shit about our people, we want to sit on our people and, and glorify ourselves. No, we actually go through things uh, uh, in, in this world. We're actually going through trials and tribulations and dealing with demons, dealing with people, dealing with, with, with fucking people with, with fucking spirits on them, dealing with those spiritual forces coming against us. And we and we rejoice in that. We rejoice in that people, you know, scour and they because they're gonna receive that judgment. We 
we rejoice in that. We rejoice in giving somebody the truth that maybe they'll wake up to the truth. But then at the same time, we rejoice in it that, hey, look, we gave you the truth and then you rejected it. So you were, you were sealed for your fate anyway. You know, we don't, we don't rejoice that Israel has to be destroyed, but it is important to prophecy. So prophecy has to happen. I'm going to read part of that again. When his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy. And his glory has not quite been revealed yet. You know, we're going through the scriptures, but we haven't physically seen him yet. But we will see him. Verse 14, if ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of the Most High rested upon you. On the part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. That's right. If people speak evil of the name, they want to speak evil of uh, uh, of us, you know, which, you know, that doesn't matter. They can say what the fuck they want to say. They want to black. You got people coming up and they'll hear the name and they'll, they'll, they'll blaspheme in the name. They don't even want to stop and consider and think, you know, maybe this is the name. Let me look that up. Let me research it. Let me learn to look at the Hebrew and try to figure out, you know, what, what, what's up with what they're saying. They want to jump in and blast from the name and play with the name. The scriptures say the, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. What is the name of the father and his son? Who can tell? You know, we know, we know it goes back to Hebrew. Well, should you know Hebrew? Are there any, were there any J's in Hebrew? Or is J a thing of the English language? You know, it's the thing that English language. So you gotta, it's, it's a building process to get that to get that name that the Lord has to give you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as a evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yeah, because judgment is going out over the earth. And you may have some Israelites who uh, become martyrs for the faith, but we want that judgment to be uh, a righteous man dying you know, maybe being a martyr for the name for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Not for some wickedness that you're doing or some shit that you're storing up that you're bringing upon yourself. You know, and that's why, that's why niggas are getting killed in the streets. And it's been being said that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to fuck up Israel. And that's what he's doing. That judgment is going out. And our people don't like it. It's just becoming a, an emotional process. And they're looking for somebody to blame. They're looking these Edomites. They're looking for a scapegoat too. They're looking for somebody to blame. They look it's white guilt. Or, or, or everybody's bad and it's okay to be white. And but you know when you look at these old school movies, you know that show the so-called founding fathers of America. That show Esau in his uh, in, in his warlike state. You know they came here with great pride. And the Lord gave them that power. You see exactly. Persecution after persecution, murder. You know, they didn't give us. They didn't give us one day off. Even the, even the Sunday, which you know, they have that confused. But that Esau, so called, has as his holy day. But then you go to church. That was the worst day because that was the day if, if they did take you to church. You're going to go in there and you're going to become a slave, a spiritual slave under Christianity. You know, so not only is your, your body a slave, your mind is a slave, your spirit is a slave. So it's the hell is raising up over the earth. You know, men are crying out, trying to break out of these fucking shackles, having to work, having to put our body on the line. No, it's not. We're not. We're not gonna go quietly like like Israel wants to. They want us to kick our feet up, sell out, and go quietly. But the righteous men, the scriptures say, what uh, uh, set a set a mark upon them that side that cry. So you got righteous men crying out. They continue to cry out because we can, we have to we continue to have to labor in this place. They're, they're, they're setting up countless roadblocks and countless fucking. Uh, uh, the clay is set up. The, the thick debt is set up. And just speaking for myself, my job situation got fucked up. 
So the health insurance situation got fucked up. So once I do, I finish my taxes, I already know that I'm going to owe these motherfuckers some money. Ain't this a bitch. They take out taxes from every check, every, every week. They take taxes out of my shit. Because I didn't have health insurance. I didn't, I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't uh, run up the bill and anything. I didn't kill anybody, kill anybody, injure anybody, do any of that shit. But because these wicked ass leaders, or because, you know, these fucking American wicked ass men who are in charge who set up these wicked laws, now I, now I owe them more fucking money because of, of a stupid ass law that they set up and I'm going to be fined for it. So I won't even get probably a, a refund this year. You know, and, and said, you know, that, that could have went to something for the ministry or, or something for myself or a brother or, or any of that. So, you know, this, this man has a lot, a lot to pay for. So I, I mean, I've been ended off on this one, man. Matter of fact, these last two. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, as a follower of the Mashiach, the Messiah, a true follower, because Christians were first called Christian and Antioch, the anointed. These were Israelites. Let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on his behalf. So that's the suffering that we want. We want to suffer. That's what we glorify, because you're going to suffer either way. You're going to suffer. The Lord is going to put you through some shit. <laughs> If you don't, then, you know, you really got to think about it, brother. You know, you're going to suffer. We want to suffer as, as as men who follow after the Messiah, as the anointed. That's the suffering we want. You know, bring it on. Let it come. It's already coming. Let it, let it, let it, let it keep continually fall upon us until we, we are lifted out. And that's the, that's the goal. We want to we get out of here. On the first go around, and hey, hey, the scriptures talk about that too. The men who become martyrs, they're gonna go up first. They're gonna be changed before those men who die for the Lord. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? So, so he said, look, if I'm going to fuck my people up, I'm going to fuck my sons and daughters up, what's going to happen to you, you other heathens, you other nations? If I'm going to put hell on the apple of my eye, what's going to happen to you, you other nations, you heathens? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? They'll be destroyed. It's a rhetorical question. Because everybody thinks, you know, first off, you have people who are not seeing and reading the signs of what's going to happen. That this man is setting up his system. He's setting up to further trap people, to, to further keep them down, and, 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 and to bring uh, uh, martial law. Because, like, like this highway I'm on now, it's two lanes. Are you two lanes, you know, millions of people going up, going down, going back, going forth. All you need is a couple concrete cinder blocks and boom, you shut this motherfucker down. You shut it down. What's gonna happen when it's shut down? What's gonna happen when you, you can't play off of the social little social politics that Esau has set up. You, know, you have to fucking treat women like men. You have to treat homosexuals and transsexuals like men. You have to treat pedophiles like equals. You have to treat wicked niggas. You have to fucking keep trying to uh, 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 link up with them. You know, wicked niggas get, get judged and receive that judgment. You gotta lower your head and, and be sultry about it and listen to all these damn niggas talking about, oh, it was a real one here. Man, the fuck out of here. 
look at his works. We're not, we're not looking for, for people to speak smooth, you know, because it's nothing wrong with giving somebody a compliment or, or paying homage to somebody who was a right, who was righteous, or, or paying respect, even let me say it like that. But if you look at somebody's works and it's not adding up to, you know, what people are saying, it just doesn't add up. This bigger thing is that, that, that the fucking death of a fucking stupid ass rapper. We've been, we've been saying it's the daughter of music that made Mark go. Okay, but being the music industry, you gotta be a complete fucking general. Ain't nobody slipping through the cracks anymore. That, that, that day is over. But I'll finish it out on these last two. And if the scarcely, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, worship the ungodly and the sinner appear. Wherefore, let them suffer according to the will of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. So it's the will of the Heavenly Father that, 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 that everything is happening. And it's, the, it's his will. It's just the only place for us to understand is for, no matter how mad you get, how emotional you get, how much you want to you want to kill, you want to fight us over it, the will of the heavenly father is going to go out. So with that being said, man, hey brothers, we got to continue through the faith, we got to continue to build, we got to continue, it's a process. And hey brothers always talk about we want to leave everything out on the field, we want to leave it all out. We want to, we want to exercise every single resource we can get, every prayer we can put up, every curse on the enemy we can put up. Every act of fellowship that we can do, everything that we can to put everything on the line. Call the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Lord, with us, set a fire for you, Shalom.